so let's get started with the things again right again we have already seen what is terraform right what are the benefits of terraform how we can use it right and what is the benefit we can achieve using the infrastructure as a code right we can write everything in the form of code we can you know provision our infrastructure within a snap of finger and we can even quickly close that right even we, we can quickly delete that infrastructure if not needed so there are so many benefits of using infrastructure as a code right so we have seen a couple of things right how how we can create all the aws component how we can create instance how we can how we can create vpc subnet routes net gateway how we can provision the elastic ip how we can create ames you can do everything whatever you are looking for in the same way right if you are looking for creating some of the like like s3 bucket again what you have to do simply guys aws s3 bucket terraform right you just have to write the things the first module you will get which is for the s3 bucket itself right and if you need to create s3 bucket there is a simple example of that right this is the private bucket which 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 we are creating and if you want to host the static website right so this is the example of that so you can simply use these things here so let's say i'll quickly copy this here okay it says policies are file policy let's let's take the first one it says it this is just for a private bucket right so what you can simply do is you can go here you can write one script as 3.tf right and start using the modules right so what name of the buckets you would like to give i would call it scihub.co.co that's fine uh, or that's fine and the it's tag is my bucket if you want to give something to it you can make it public you can make it public so the default is private so you can also come down and see what all attributes you can use with it and what all tagging replication all the things that we have then with the gui right you can do it from here itself and there are so many things that you can also take from these parameters right it says ACL is optional whether you want to use it or not that's up to you let's click here and see what it says so here are all the optional tag but yes they these tags might be useful for you so if you go here and see the ACL things public read public read right so let's let's keep it as a public read at this moment all right so let's change this here and you make it public read all right so let's go ahead here and i will remove this vpc.tf i don't need it uh, let me remove these tf files also i don't need these now right so we have one provider.tf and we have another as 3.tf right so let's keep go ahead and give one plan here okay it says the invalid resource name it says the resource name sign.co is invalid so let's open it once my tf okay 
let me quickly change it I think let me put it B what it was default okay it was my bad I understood it what I what was the issue error credential to get account ID error calling STC get identifier identifier token the security token request is invalid in the provider.tf so I think yesterday we had one terraform here our provider dot okay so the name of the bucket should be I think this my hyphen tf I will call it tf1 instead let's do a terraform plan now Let's see what does this error all about. Okay, it says like this issue was in general coming because of require providers provider okay this is the problem I think we don't have key there so just go to download and get that last key that we had I think it will be open maybe this is here so let's take this and take the secret key also and yeah, let's go ahead and plan again this sounds good now it says here yep, this is adding one plan here and still no change right if you see you can get all the things here right what will be changed what things you are doing right what attributes you are giving everything here so let's go ahead and do apply here that's my bad it should be applied right so it's giving some issues s3 bucket authorization header the authorization header is malformed the reason us east is wrong expected it central one having some issue maybe let's go to provider and change keep it this only you don't have any issue with this maybe this is disabled and we'll need to enable maybe let's apply
okay it says the bucket already exist so change it okay it's three dot tf Resource and zero. Let's quickly go to the documentation once. So now it has started creating the bucket so that was not the reason issue too right now you can see the bucket has been successfully created so let's see the provider ones and we created in the central ue central one right if you go to the ue central one ue central one ue it's eu central one it was eu central one only yep Let's go to S3. Right now you can see we already have one bucket here now created. Right. So which is public also. Right. That we have given the access here. So in the same way you will have to think about those things. Right what exactly you want what all policy you wants to create what all things you need right most of the thing you see here right if you want to as assign some acl policies to your bucket you can do that too right you just have to use those those code with your s3 bucket so all the policies are defined here right choose it and modify it accordingly and use them right if you don't want them yes. just go ahead and quickly sure. destroy it Yes, go बिल्कुल रीजन हमेशा प्रोवाइडर डॉट टी एफ से ही चेक करेगा मतलब जैसे सर अगर मल्टीपल रीजन में